my name is Erica and today I'm going to talk about minimum income requirements for parents and grandparents sponsorship applications. Firstly, for this type of application, the sponsor and the co-signer, if there is one, must prove that they have enough income to support all the people they will be financially responsible for once they become a sponsor. If you are invited to apply as a sponsor, you have to meet the income requirements for each of the three tax years before the date you apply. As for applicants in this year's 2021 program, sponsors must meet the income requirements for 2020, 2019, and 2018. As reference, the government website also provides a table of information to assess your minimum income required depending on the total number of the people you'll be responsible for and this table was last updated on May 13, 2021. As an example, if you, the sponsor, don't have any spouse or dependent children and will be sponsoring your mother and father, the total number of people you will be responsible for is three people, including yourself. In this case, you will have to meet the minimum yearly income requirements for 2020 with having at least 39,672, 2019 with 50,414, and 2018 with 49,641. You can retrieve your annual income amount from line 15000 of your tax return for the above mentioned tax years and compare it within the income requirement table. Another example, if you as a sponsor have a spouse who will co-sign with you in the sponsorship application and you both have a dependent child and will be sponsoring your mother and father, the total number of people you'll be financially responsible for is five people, including yourself. In this case, since your spouse is co-signing with you, you and your spouse's income within the last three tax years can be combined to meet the minimum income requirement. And both of you will have to meet the minimum yearly income requirement for five people for 2020 with having at least 54,630, 2019 with 69,423, and 2018 with 68,358. Once again, my name is Erica, and if you have any questions, you can email me at erica at invictalaw.ca. Thank you.